Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of January. I'm James Spann. Hey, it's going to snow tomorrow, we think. Uh, pretty good chance of it. It's a cold core upper low. These are just boogers to deal with, uh, with us in the weather office. But we've got a fairly high confidence of at least the, the basics here. So let's get in there and talk about it. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots. Today, as expected, another cloudy, dreary, wet day. That's the uh, Birmingham sky cam looking south from the Daniel Building. Now, we've got major river flooding in West Alabama. That's the Tom Bigby River as seen from the sky cam at the Demopolis Civic Center. The Black Warrior and the Tom Bigby are in flood, and they will stay in flood for days. If you live along the rivers, I'm sure you're paying attention to the latest uh, hydrological statements from the Weather Service in Birmingham. And there's a Tennessee River. That thing's awfully high as well up in uh, Decatur. You know, that, that just speaks volumes to me right there. I, th the last time we had a pretty big snow event here was back in February of 2011. Uh, so it's been almost two years. You know, last winter, we had basically no significant snow. But that winter, 2010, 2011, it was one of the snowiest winters on record. It snowed on Christmas Day here. So uh, it's been a while since we've had some snow. The upper low progressing uh, right on schedule, uh, pretty much according to the models I uh, thought it would be at this point. The upper low is centered just south of Dallas-Fort Worth. And that thing will be coming right on top of us tomorrow. There's the radar at 205. What you see is what you get. It's still wet. I mean, what a soaker this has been. But it's rain that we will be thankful for come the long, hot summer. I promise. Temperatures, again, a big contrast. You got 61 in Auburn, south of the front. On the other side of the front, 40s and 30s. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 42. Uh, Gadsden sitting at 46. Upper 30s up in the Tennessee Valley. Everybody above the freezing mark. And around the nation, we're going to watch that really cold air that's up over Canada. And we might deal with that, and I think we will deal with that by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And that's another issue we'll discuss. Uh, there's the watch warning map, and uh, uh, we're going to see a lot of winter storm watches up from, from about North Alabama up toward uh, uh, the mountains of North Carolina and Virginia. And really, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here because of so many river flood warnings, the counties in green. This is the uh, winter storm watch uh, issued by the Weather Service in Huntsville. Uh, and that is uh, for uh, basically most of their counties, except for that northwestern corner. And that does include Coleman. Coleman is in the National Weather Service County Warning Area for Huntsville. That's a little confusing. Uh, Coleman's in the Birmingham television market, but Coleman County is in the Huntsville Weather Service County Warning Area. Birmingham, at the time I'm doing the update here, they've not made up their mind. They'll probably put up a winter weather advisory or maybe a winter storm watch. By the time you uh, uh, see this, there's a good chance they will have done that. Now, this is the percentage of greater than one inch of snow tomorrow morning. And the numbers have come way up, over 50% here. Of course, the really big numbers are up to the uh, northeast of here. Look at uh, Buff Kit Analysis. Uh, this is a model analysis tool. And, uh, boy, the, the 12Z NAM came in heavy. Five inches of snow. This is for Birmingham. Could it happen? Yes. These coal cores can do amazing things. I often mention the December 14th, 1997 event that brought eight inches of snow to parts of west central Alabama below Tuscaloosa. It's not out of the question it could happen. Most models are three inches or less. And uh, that's kind of where we stand on it. This is a look at the uh, NAM snow projection. And again, you can see that swath. And really, uh, the snow starts, you know, way back in south uh, western Mississippi, coming up through Jackson and Meridian and uh, right up Interstate 59, and uh, you can see the heavier totals are east of I-65 and north of Interstate 20. This is the GFS, very similar, higher totals over northeast Alabama. And again, there could be some you know, light accumulation back into central Mississippi for, for our folks that are watching there, but not as much as what we should see over northeast Alabama. And we'll just cut to the chase. This is our latest snow projection. I've kind of upped it a little bit. I've got two inches or less for most of... Uh, you know, north central Alabama. Uh, and then the higher amounts, two to three inches over north and east central Alabama, especially high terrain above a thousand feet, Lookout Mountain, uh, you know, Chihaw, places like that. 
and uh, there could be more. I think above uh, you know fifteen hundred feet, somebody's probably going to wind up with a good bit over three. In fact, I can't wait to watch our Chiha Sky Cam with this thing tomorrow. It's going to be a winter wonderland up there. Uh, and remember, underneath these things, you can see a really heavy snowburst. Um, and we, we inevitably, there's going to be a surprise. Our skill level is not that good in handling snow placement and amounts underneath the cold core. So I fully expect a surprise or two. Uh, th- but the one thing, though, I still think most of the accumulation will be on the grass. The roads will be simply wet which means travel I don't think will be affected. And, I mean, it might look like a blizzard out the window, but temperatures ought to be in the mid-30s, and the roads will be just wet. If there's any travel issues, again, it's going to be across the high terrain of east and northeast Alabama, Sand Mountain, Lookout Mountain, uh, places like that. It's going to be hard to get up to Cheha, I think. Of course, they're at 2,400 feet up there. Uh, in terms of timing, I'd say uh, probably 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. In west Alabama, the whole thing should be over by mid-afternoon. Uh We'll look at the uh, modeling on this. This is uh, 12 noon tomorrow, and, and I mean, that thing just looks like a big old belly button sitting right over us, doesn't it? Uh, Cole Court, literally right on top of north central Alabama. And underneath that, some funky things can happen. So, uh, again, we'll be watching for any surprises that happen with that thing. Down below that, the surface low is east of here. And the precipitation begins to move out by early to mid-afternoon. So, again, 3, 4 in the morning to maybe, you know, midday, uh, early afternoon, something like that. I think the bulk of the heavy snow is out of here by, you know, 2, 3 in the afternoon. Temperatures probably won't get out of the 30s tomorrow, despite what all the model guidance is saying. You know, the GFS had a high of like 52 a couple of days ago, and that was a farce. It's come down to 44. The NAM has got a high of 40, which is much closer to being correct. All right. Uh... We're out of here for Friday. Uh, We are cleared out. The sun is back. Uh, Temperatures uh, probably reaching uh, maybe 50-ish. I don't know. The NAM's got a high of 46. That might be closer to being right. Whatever. It's going to be a brighter day. We'll start the day in the 20s. Uh, There's a look at Saturday. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, Nice to have a sunny day to start the weekend with highs in the 50s. And uh, there's a look at uh, Sunday. Same deal go to uh, next week this is monday here comes that really cold air and again the gfs not as cold as recent runs this is valid at 12 noon monday it's got a 1034 high over the dakotas but still a lot of cold air addiction coming down the pike and uh there's a look at tuesday and, and again it's not as cold as you know previous runs uh, a 1028 high nearby. The thickness values just aren't that low, but the European still looks very cold, and I think that speaks volumes. Uh, I think there's a reasonable chance on Tuesday we'll have a hard time getting past 40, and if indeed that is correct, by Wednesday morning, upper teens, a distinct possibility here. There's a look at Wednesday, and I know those thickness values are not that low, but uh, I think the GFS is missing this. Uh, We're looking at the depth of the cold air, just looking at it now. It's going to be cold middle of next week. No snow mischief, no winter weather mischief, just cold. Hard freeze could be our coldest morning of the season Wednesday. Quickly, uh, later in the month, how about January 25th? Ooh, boy, maybe some departing snow in the backside of that storm. And how about this one for uh, January 31st? End of the month, that looks mischievous. you got a Gulf Coast runner down there, a low hugging the Gulf Coast with uh, some threat of winter weather mischief up on the northern end of this. So it sure looks like, uh, you know, in addition to what's going to happen tomorrow, we might have another snow issue before the month is over. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, uh, alabamawx.com. Don't forget to watch us on uh, the news, ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Next video here by tomorrow morning, bright and early by about uh, 6 or 7 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show, available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.